Hi, I'm Anke Summerhill and this week for our Minotti Sofa Chat we have the lovely Irene from Gunter Enko with us. Uh, Irene started her design studio, I think it was about six years ago, am I correct? Almost Irene? seven, yeah. And I think where you, you've been buying from us nearly from the beginning or using our furniture right from the start. Um, you started your business with your husband Ian. Was, was he there from the start or no, you brought him he, in later? I, I brought him in later. <laughs> <laughs> when it was a bit more settled, yeah, uh, about three years ago. Okay, so it's become a family, a family business, a bit Very like uh, a bit like Minotti London. So Irene, have you always been passionate um, about design? I mean, do you come from a creative background? Initially, I went to study something totally differently, yeah. and then had a bit of an epiphany when I started yeah. working in uh, the European Parliament that this yeah. was not for me. Yeah. And um, my true love. Uh, had been interiors but I just never really realised so that's when I came to London and I studied interior architecture at the Inchbold School of Design yes. and the plan was to go back to Belgium but someone made me a really good job offer and I never left. You stayed yeah. and you're happy with that decision yeah, obviously. Very happy. Yeah. Yeah, because Gunter goes taken off really really well and absolutely loving the projects you do. Thank it's you really so nice much. to see you grow. You've used me naughty in some of your projects. Yeah. So when do you know that Minotti is the right product for that particular project? Um, I think the main drive that we see with a lot of clients is that once the hard finishes and joinery and, and bathroom fittings are chosen, mm -hmm. um, we figure out quite quickly what are the key items to invest in. Even yes. when there's you know a big budget, people won't always want to spend, you know, the most money on every single Absolutely. item. You have to pick and mix and see what works best. And we always guide them very much that the items that you sit on and the items that you sleep on are, you know, more important than anything else. So it's really useful that we have, you know, your beautiful showroom to access in central London. And we usually make it quite a fun day whereby we visit several places and yes. we try out sofas, dining chairs, mattresses, and I think the ability to be able to show something and, and explain the craftsmanship behind yes, it and also the design development because yes. there's one thing about building a sofa but designing it to such a level of detail that you guys do where you can really see that someone's put thought into the shape of that leg and it tapers and it's got a slightly ergonomic shape to yes. it that doesn't happen in two minutes no, you know and I no. think because by the the point where we start looking at furniture, we've spent a lot of time with clients and yes. the, the longer you have a relationship with someone, the more confident you can be yes. in um, really being passionate about certain yes. things. And I think, you know, the quality of the workmanship and the quality of the design to me means that more often than not, we do find that clients, you know, really love your, your pieces yes. and it's just a question of finding the right items for yes. the right room. So Irene, is there a piece in the Minotti collection you find yourself coming back to various times that you use on a regular basis or you find your, what your clients like? Or um... there's, there's two pieces, well th three. Um, uh, first of all, I would say the Hamilton sofa because ah. it's such a classic and yes. um, I've been dying to use the big 1.6 <laughs> by 1.6 yeah. and so our uh, Dubai project luckily yeah. has it lots of space so we've oh, found a space finally, for two of them exactly yes exactly um so that's one and i mm -hmm. think it's a it's a very kind of timeless classic yes. you can't tell whether it was designed in 2001 no, and absolutely. you know it it's, is it's absolute. it's an all-time favorite yeah. or even now when people say what's your favorite thing mm. and i get really excited each year about all the new products and i think but I still love the Hamilton. Yes, the Hamilton yeah. still it's just has hard it. to beat, isn't yes, it? Yeah. Exactly. Our project in the south of France um, was really special because of the location, obviously, and it had the most insane view. It's like 360 degree view across the sea and the land, and it's just stunning. Oh, and we had a really large living room there, and we really struggled to find the right piece. Um, yeah. And um, when we brought the clients here, mm -hmm. they stumbled onto your Hamilton sofa and mm -hmm. um, they tried every single other one. But um, <laughs> luckily uh, um, that was a firm favorite. And there was a little bit of bickering between husband and wife to make sure this was the right one. Yeah. But um, luckily they settled on that one because we could show them how, you know, the very large yes. components 
could make a very large room feel quite intimate. Yeah. Um, so we had a whole U shape going around the whole room, whereas before there were three separate sofas and it made it feel quite disjointed. distant and disjointed, exactly. Yeah. Um, whereas introducing the Hamilton just made it feel like this James Bond room <sighs> with the seaside view behind, oh, which was amazing. amazing. Um, and they, you know, they spend time there with their children and it's a real hangout space. It and, is. It's, yeah. it's really multi-use, isn't exactly. it? You can sit one corner reading your book, yeah. kids can yeah. sort of hang the other and yeah. watching their Netflix or And because the back is quite low, you can either be w directed one way and yes. watch the TV or the fireplace, or you can turn the other way and look at the seaside. So yeah. it takes so many boxes. And yes. seeing it um, being installed into mm -hmm. that room, it just m totally transformed that room. And without that piece, it would have been a big, a big letter. Yes. Yeah. And then I think your film noir dining chair is so insanely comfortable. Yeah. Um, so it's that's, such a classic. Yeah, as well, it's stunning. And the little yeah. brass details. Yeah. So it's very different. It's yeah. very um, identifiable. Mm -hmm. And um, and the main thing is comfort, right? So Absolutely. lots of our clients love entertaining and mm -hmm. having people over for dinner parties that go into the early hours. And yes. if a dining table has the benefit of looking very elegant but feeling like an armchair, that ticks so many boxes. So yes. we've we've used that a few times. Okay. Um, and then the tape armchair, oh, I just think yeah. is the cutest thing ever. Yeah. And you know, in little bedrooms or reception yes. rooms where you're tight for space, yes. it's just a small. Um, edition, but it, yes. it has so many, you know, it works so hard for its design credentials. It's beautiful yeah. from every angle. I call it my little Chanel chair. Oh, I just yeah. feel I should have a boudoir one day yes. and be able to have my little Chanel, well, I mean, not a chair, but it has such a timeless elegance feel. I don't I just love it. Yeah. Very so much. those are definitely fun favorites. Okay, good. Okay, well, Irene, it was absolutely lovely having you here today. You're very welcome. It was my pleasure. Seeing you. Yeah. Thank you very much.